America, I come for the love of ham radio. And if you'd like to get your amateur radio license, I was going through this a while back, and I found a way to do it, and it'll work for you, guaranteed. Contact the American Radio Relay League. They have a directory of amateur radio clubs worldwide, and they can help you connect with one as close to you as possible. Now, you may ask, why is that important? Well, because you're going to have questions. You'll need help with the test, right? Understanding the test and being able to test the license exam. And maybe get some help with some equipment to get yourself on the air. You can borrow too. Clubs are great at doing things like that. Reach out to the American Radio Relay League to find that local club to you at www.arrl.org. That's www.arrl.org. Hit the contact us bar. Just tell them you want your amateur radio license and where you live, and they'll send you back the local to you. Amateur Radio Club. Take you then contact, and they'll help you get your license. www.arrl. Dateline North America, the biggest news here in North America, here in the United States over the last week has been, of course, the devastating Hurricane Helene. The American Radio Relay League leadership has been engaged throughout the weekend and this week with key volunteers in the U.S. southeastern states, especially in hard-hit North Carolina, to facilitate any support that the ARRL headquarters can provide to the impacted area. The devastation is widespread and greater than many seasoned emergency responders have ever seen. There are ad hoc health and welfare nets that have popped up parallel to emergency official communication efforts. Amateur radio operators in the area that have the means to communicate have been facilitating some level of traffic on several repeaters which are located on mountaintops both in North and South Carolina. There are a couple of official frequencies that you need to keep clear and also possibly listen to that you can spread the word and get the help that's needed. Needed. Those two frequencies, first one's 40 meters, 7.232 megahertz, that's 7.232 megahertz, and then on 75 meter band at 3.923 megahertz, that's 3.923. There are amateur radio operators working with several aviation relief organizations which mobilize general aviation aircraft which are donated by private owners to ferry in water and other supplies that are needed in the area. The challenge is widespread devastation of road networks to get anything in to the last mile of distribution. Please again, keep 7.232 megahertz open and be listening there if you can help facilitate any help, as well as 3.923 megahertz as well. Also in news from the Northwestern United States, Kelly from the American Radio Relay League's Northwestern Division Director has been disqualified. Clark declared elected. Dan Marler, call sign Kilo 7 Romeo Echo X-Ray, the challenger seeking the position of ARRL, Northwestern Division Director, was declared disqualified last Saturday by the American Radio Relay League's Ethics and Elections Committee. Marlon was running against incumbent Mark Tharp, call sign Kilo Bravo 7, Hotel Delta X-Ray. Due to the disqualification, the committee has declared Tharp elected. The American Radio Relay League's election rules state all matters concerning campaigns, including remedies for issues that arise, will be conclusively determined by the Ethics and Election Committee. According to the Southeastern Division Director Mickey Baker, call sign November 4, Mike Bravo, writing as chair of and for the E&E Committee, he responded to a complaint that was received from a member of the Northwestern Division involving inaccurate claims made by the candidate that violated the ARL election rules. The rule specifically states that the standard of truth applies to all campaign material by a candidate, and that candidate statements must be, in all material respects, truthful and not misleading. So, congratulations for his re-election. Mark Tharp, call sign Kilo Bravo 7, Hotel Delta X-Ray. We'll have news from Great Britain, but first, here's news from ICOM. Keep your competitive contesting edge with ICOM. Our high-powered base stations cut through pileups, letting you work the bands and record those contacts. 
contest from the comfort of your home or remotely with the RSBA1 app. Heard it, worked it, loved it. For more information about ICOM Amateur Radios and to locate the dealer, please visit ICOMAmerica.com. Tapeline Green Freight and RSGB 2024 convention still time to book. Less than two weeks until the RSGB convention, this year's event is just going to be an amazing for people who are interested in anything and everything to do with amateur radio. Well, that may seem like a common tagline, right? There's going to be a host of expert speakers presenting on topics ranging from sporadic youth and how to use artificial intelligence to write amateur radio applications. How about that? Also, panels, there could be lots of panels depending upon amateur radio modes and presentations on inspiring the next generation of radio amateurs. Presentation summaries and speaker biographies are now available on the RSGB speaker page. Also, in news from Great Britain, there is GP to promote October JOTA activities. Jamboree on the Air is taking place on October 18th through the 20th. The event promotes friendship and global citizenship and is a brilliant celebration of amateur radio among groups within the Scouts Association. Some groups have already shared details of activities that will be taking place over the weekend, and the RSGB plans to compile a share a list of these on its comms channel. For information, you can find this on the RSGB news site. Finally, Dateline Great Britain Ofcom 2.3 gigahertz band consultation, RSGB's response to it. The Radio Society of Great Britain has responded to a recent Ofcom consultation which would see new users sharing spectrum within the 2.3 gigahertz amateur band. Whilst the new devices may be limited to indoor use, the RSGB has taken the opportunity to highlight concerns regarding the weak signal of 2320 MHz segment. In addition, the RSGB has also indicated its wish to review the current restrictions that apply to this band that date way back to 2013, but it was subject to public sector spectrum release. The response and background information can be found on the RSG's, RSGB's Spectrum Forum web pages, and you can find the link to that on the RSGB news site. Well, that's news about special events, contests, the expeditions, and pretty impressive news about the HF forecast coming up next. Keep your competitive contesting edge with ICOM. ICOM heard the call and is answered. The ICPW2 is here. Take your contesting experience to the next level with ICOM's industry-first linear amplifier. It includes digital pre-distortion and a built-in 2x6 automatic antenna oh selector boy, just for single contest. operator two radio Very interesting. Wow. For more information about ICOM's amateur radio and the ICPW2, that's, that's what amateur radio is turning out to be, nothing but contesting. It's pretty sad, and it's on the rational radio shortwave, as you see. Peace is going to be on the air. That's from St. Jerome OC Home Station, full sign Victor Alpha 2 Peace. So Victor Alpha 2, then spelling out P E A C E. Going to be on 20 meter digital 14.030. The sorry, 20 meter digital 14.030 on the 40 meter band on Morse code there as well. 7.030. And they plan to be on 17 meters. Not many special events on 17. They plan to be right about 18.090 megahertz. Also coming up, the Cusa Giant Pumpkin Fest 2024. That runs October 4th through October 7th. Call sign November 9 Papa. That's November 9 Papa. Don't forget next week. Now what is this? Just for all contests or people only? Annual Ham Fest. They have a special event for this October 11th and 12th. Cross Line Whiskey Forum. I'm so excited! I can't believe it. 
Who cares? Who gives a crap about contesting? Let's talk about DXing and, you know, good contacts. Who gives a crap about this contesting crap? Nothing but noise. That's all it is. Noise, hash, and trash. Baloney on the air that we don't need. Who gives a crap? Oh, I just can't wait to tune in on that day. At least they're giving me a heads up. Not to be on the air. Contest phone this weekend. It runs from 0600 UTC Saturday to 0600 UTC on Sunday. Special events coming up. Namibia still running to October the 11th. Call sign Victor 55 Lima Alpha. That's Victor 55 Lima Alpha. Plan to be on Morse code and sideband multiple bands there. Also, Samoa goes on the air October the 3rd through October 10th. Call sign 5 Whiskey Zero Tango Echo. That's 5 Who Whiskey cares? Zero. What is this whole contest for idiots? Plan to be on I can really give a crap about. 10 meters using Morse code, some sideband, and FTA. Another one coming from Samoa, call signs the same, 5 Whiskey Zero Tango Echo. They plan to be HF, Morse code, and FTA only. So a couple chances to get Samoa. October 6th to the 13th, the Maldives are on the air. Call sign 8 Quebec 7 Union X-ray. That's 8 Quebec 7 Union X-ray. HF mainly Morse code and some FTA. Finally, Spalbard, October 9th through the 14th. Call sign Juliet Whiskey 5 X-ray. That's Juliet Whiskey 5 X-ray. They plan to be on side then, and they'll be looking for a lot of stations there using power as well. Be listening for Juliet Whiskey 5 X-ray. Your forecast for the HF fans powered by ICOM. ICOM for the love of ham radio. Great SFIs, folks. This solar flux index number and the solar sunspot number are the best since 1980. That's true. Yep, best in solar cycle 41. Yeah, it's just a contest. 10 meters Hooray. down north. The hemisphere has risen all the way to 60 degrees north. However, it gets that far north late in the day. All modes open 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10. And 10 meters sounds beautiful right now. Nighttime radio 160, 80, 60, 40, 30, and your best DX maximum usable frequency at sunset. Daytime shortwave, great DX conditions, 31, 25, 22, 19, 15, and 13. Right now, 19, 15, and 13, running all night long. Nighttime shortwave, 120, 90, 75, and 60, 49, 41, 31, 25, 22, and 19 meters. Great bands right now, 60, 49, 41, 31, 25, Yeah, it's all, all, all loaded up with contests. What's the point this even going? Worldwide. Thank you for listening to the Netherlands. You're listening to WRMI, Radio Miami International, from transmitters in Oki, Chile, Florida, in the USA, and online via www.wrmi.net. Send us your comments and reception reports to info at wrmi.net or by regular mail to WRMI, PO Box 526852, Miami, Florida, 33152, USA. Presbyterian Church of Ulster, we present. Yeah, you know what I got to say about that? All that, all that is, and all this was all for just for contesters. I tell you what, guys, I hate to say this, break the, you know, break some kind of wind out there, but it seems like that's all that it's so what everybody's doing nowadays is all contesting. Just like today, I went to go on the net. That's all I hear. QSO party. QSO party. Let's have a party. Yeah, let's have a party. 
let's see some people do some real real talking uh, you know some real talking on a radio instead of this five nine bull crap and uh oh my number is or uh my toilet just flushed uh i didn't change the air filter my air conditioner but your five nine ten over s nine five nine five nine five nine and I just tuned in on my uh, sh my uh, my HF on the short wave bands right on this frequency right here. That program you just heard was nothing but all about contesting. Oh, buy your radios for MyCom, MyCom America, for the love of God of ham radio, MyCom America. Yeah, man, I tell you, uh, they're actually uh, promoting contesting. It seems like ha amateur radio is turning into nothing but contesting only. What in the God's earth and God's mind, who would just spend all hard-earned hard money, high-dollar priced items on the ra for radio equipment just to talk contest, do contesting? You, you comment below and tell me what you all think. I know what you're all going to say. It, it is going to be, this has got to be a good topic right here. And I accidentally caught this uh, on this frequency here. Well, it's not, it's within what 61 meter band or whatever. Oh, no, it's all about contesting. That's all it is, guys. So I got the tail end of this tra that transmission on that broadcast, and uh, what a joke! What a joke! It ain't about con contacts anymore. Where did you talk to last or? Uh, did you have a good time? Was it a, a, a rare? Was it a rare DX contact you made? Or, oh no no. What's what's your points on uh, how many uh, uh, contacts you made within the QSO party or the or did, or a certain uh, contest? Amateur radio is, is actually dying. They're promoting c contesting and all that, and I think it's total bullshit. That's right, bullshit. You know, and that's what's really, it all boils down to. Basically, it's all about contesting on amateur radio. That's all, that's what it seems like to me. It's really, really uh, actually embarrassing in a way. There's more to it than, than contesting. Nobody wants to do anything no more. Just sit behind a mic and call for numbers and give me your number, give me this and give me that. And let me type it in the computer type thing. Bullshit. That's all I got for now, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I love the comments. Love, love, love the comments. Keep them coming. Give me some thumbs up. Show me some love here. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Adam Sam Radio going QRT. And, uh, yeah, we're on the side. Catch you later.